what's going on guys it's Omniarch and today I want to bring you another video uh, just as you guys can see I'm back home I'm gonna be here for about two weeks before I actually move back to school I'm not taking any summer classes or anything but I will be living there uh, for the summer and I'll be living there all next year for my last year hopefully as long as my schedules can be made uh, properly um, and yeah so basically this video the reason that you clicked on it is because of the movement system I'm gonna be talking about the movement system in infinite warfare my opinions on it mainly and uh yeah so let's get right into it what the fuck is this this looks like a it looks like a creature like an alien laid eggs under my skin and it's just big it's disgusting anyway so if you guys haven't heard from t martin or drifter or you know the other big channels ksx silence or whatever all those news channels on on call of duty you know those call of duty channels um they basically you know have been talking about the movement system in infinite warfare and the Infinity War team basically confirmed on Twitter that the movement system in Black Ops 3 is gonna basically be returning for Infinite Warfare and I wanted to talk to you guys about that a little bit because uh, it's it's pretty big news um, I mean you know I, I know I've made a video talking about how they confirm boots on the ground with the description of the game the way they talked about the game and the way that they've phrased multiplayer gameplay they literally said that the game was boots on the ground and obviously um, they don't have the same terminology that the Call of Duty community has. They obviously meant it in some other way, um, which is disappointing, and I'm a little bit let down, but I understand, you know, it makes sense. If it's a space game, of course, there's going to be double jumping, plus we saw it in the campaign trailer, the double jumping, you know, with the thruster movement and things like that. So we kind of expected this to, be, to uh, you know, be the case, and that's why the, everybody's fucking hating on Infinite Warfare, and I can't really, you know, I'm not really going to defend them uh, because... You know they probably should have known that this was gonna be the reaction from the community but either way um, we did get COD 4 so let's talk about the movement system for Infinite Warfare itself now um, they keep saying it's gonna be the chain based movement system for Infinite Warfare which if you don't know is what they've been talking or is what they were talking about for Black Ops 3 when that game dropped um, so the chain based movement system is that is basically you can fluidly go from sprinting to jumping to wall running to vaulting to shooting all of it is fluid it's uninterrupted just like the links of the chain uh, that's I guess where the name comes from you know it's just one continuous action uh, just like you know a chain so that's where the name comes from that's basically what we're probably going to be seeing in infinite warfare and i want to talk to you guys about what i think about that and if it's actually going to be bad or not so obviously most people in the community from what we've seen in the past few months it's undoubtable that most people want boots on the ground i mean if you've spent any amount of time on twitter or or instagram or facebook you know people are just making memes just bashing call of duty and how stupid it is that it's going to space and how dumb it is that there's going to be thrusting again and it's obvious that the, that a vast majority of the community really wants just another boots on the ground game just a good solid boots on the ground call of duty and that's why they're so mad at infinite warfare um, and the fact that it's going to have the Black Ops 3 movement system, people are automatically pissed off because that means thrust jumping, right? But I want to I want to remind you guys that this isn't it's not a bad game. Black Ops 3 is not a bad game, right? You know, if it were Advanced Warfare movement, then I would say I'm probably not even gonna buy it. Like fuck that, that's just garbage. Um, but the Black Ops 3 movement system is not that bad. Yeah, I, I really would prefer a boots on the ground game, but if we're going to have movement, the Black Ops 3 movement is fine. I mean, yes, it adds some randomness to the game, and yes, you know, there's you have to check, you know, in the sky for people, and, you know, it's just all this other stuff, and I, I prefer a boots on the ground game, but the movement system isn't terrible. You know, it's not terrible. I can deal with that. Um, the one thing that I'm actually a little bit upset that's coming back is wall running I, and I'm not not a lot of people are really talking about this but wall running to me is worse in my opinion than the double jumping um, I'd say in terms of movement the worst possible movement we could have right is, is advanced warfare that's the worst movement that we've ever seen in Call of Duty the next worst thing is wall running and underneath that is black ops 3 thrusting and the reason for that is because wall running there's there's many maps where there are wall run locations on the outside edges of the maps where you can navigate across the entire map 
completely uninterrupted without notifying anybody without anybody even knowing um and and you can just navigate the map in such a weird way where you could be behind enemy spawns and all this other stuff and it it's just really weird and on top of that sometimes if you try to use those areas you fall off the map and die and, and there's there's times where you know if you see someone run into a corner uh, and you fire and you get a few hits on them they can jump up and wall run over the door hinge or whatever you know the door jam and be on the other corner so now the person who shot has to determine okay are they on the left side or the right side and then it just turns the engagement that they should have won into a 50 50 probability and i don't think that you know it's just it does it feels a little bit a little bit cheesy a little bit cheap you know what i mean um so yeah i don't know wall running it's just it's very it makes it's too accessible you can wall run on everything um you know the the fucking sides of the houses on nuketown and people are just all over the place and i don't know i mean it's not bad and i'm probably making it out to be worse than it actually is but i'm just not a fan of wall running and i'd rather not see that come back so the fact that we're getting chain based movement system for infinite warfare is not the end of the world and i want people to remember that i want people to realize that black ops 3 is not a bad game right you know they've i the, the worst thing that that's done with black ops 3 is the gun balancing they just haven't fucking figured that out yet you know and, and i'm not saying that there's any guns that are overpowered i'm saying all the guns are either just not good or they're good and then they get nerfed and they get buffed and they get nerfed and it's like jesus christ dude i haven't played in four days and i don't know what fucking gun to use because you keep buffing and nerfing stuff but anyway um yeah so that's the worst part about black ops 3 in my opinion i think the game is great i mean this is the first game that i've gotten all the you know uh best camos for all the guns so obviously it's a good game i obviously think it's a good game you know i've gotten the nuked out challenge um you know i I've, I've even hit the highest rank i mean i'm not top level but i am master prestige so that's something that i haven't done before in a, in a call of duty uh, as well i have never gotten to the highest possible uh, rank where i've unlocked everything so obviously you know obviously i like this game it's a good game uh, but it's not what i wanted for the future right i did not want boots on the ground i didn't want you know this advanced movement or whatever but it's not a bad game just based on how much i've played today i can't say it's bad so the fact that it's coming back and that this movement system is coming back for infinite warfare is not that bad of news you know it's not the best news it's not the best case scenario but it's not the worst news so i don't think you know we just gotta wait we just gotta wait to see the multiplayer reveal trailer um you know i'm not even like to me infinite warfare doesn't even matter at this point because i'm got i'm buying modern warfare remastered that's what i'm paying for i'm paying 80 dollars to have modern warfare remastered for my playstation 4 that's what i'm paying for the fact that i get infinite warfare is a bonus add-on and if the game is good it's cool i have it it came with cod 4 uh if you know if it sucks it doesn't matter because that's not why i bought it you know what i mean so obviously i'm gonna play infinite warfare obviously i'm gonna play it obviously i'm gonna keep up to date with the you know reveal trailers the multiplayer trailer everything like that you know i'm gonna stay up to date but i'm buying it for cod 4 they knew that people like me would do that and that's why they paired it with this game um i think the fact that they paired call of duty 4 with infinite warfare is proof that they are not they don't believe in themselves as a development team to just you know put it out alone you know they know that it's following ghost which which is wildly hated by the community uh i don't know if it deserves as much hate as it does but you know it is hated a lot um and it's considered one of the worst color dudes in terms of innovation it's got shit kill streaks the guns are whatever you know the maps are whatever uh so yeah you know they're coming up after ghosts uh advanced warfare was complete shit so you know black ops 3 is okay some people love it some people don't like it i don't know i think it's fine um you know it's it's not the best call of duty but you know it's it's good i think it's you know it's doing good um so you know with all the with all the rough waters that they've been hitting lately i think they realize like oh fuck we just spent two years making this game and this isn't what the community is going to want we're gonna have to pair it with something else or maybe they spent a year you know making this game and they were like shit we gotta we gotta allocate this many uh development members to doing you know let's remaster cod 4 because we need something that doesn't take that much you know manpower something that's already established and developed and we just need them to redo it but better like better graphics and textures and stuff 
we we need we need them to do that because this game you know this is what we thought they wanted but now that we have more information we know it's not what they want uh so now you know if we pair it together everyone loves cod 4 uh and some people still want the double jumping and i think just i know i'm rambling but i just think that them pairing cod 4 with infinite warfare is them doubting themselves and them doubting that this game could sell and, and sell on its own and hype itself up on its own um and i think that that's not a good sign for the game plus all the dislikes and hate that they're getting already it's rough water so again the moving system it's black ops 3's moving system it's coming back i don't know what i think about it uh personally I didn't think Black Ops 2 was bad, but I would rather not have wall running and rather not have thrust jumping, but at least we're getting COD 4 remastered. Hopefully they don't fuck that up. I'm, I'm really, really praying that they don't fuck that up because otherwise I'm going to spend $80 for two trash games. Um, and that's about it, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a rating on the video. Let me know in the comment section below what you are excited about for Infinite Warfare. Do you like Black Ops 3 movement system? Do you not like it? Do you want to play COD 4? I actually do read all the comments, and I actually try to respond to every single one of you guys. So definitely drop a comment down below. I will be talking to you down there. Um, and subscribe to my channel. If you're new around here, um, you will not regret subscribing, I I'm pretty sure. So hopefully you'll subscribe, stick around, follow me on social media in the links below. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm the Arc out. Peace.